Now, this is the one, this is the event that I completely missed. I told you I was off the grid. My goodness, I was off the grid. I didn't even watch this. I did not watch this keynote on the new uh, Apple Silicon stuff, the new laptops. You did. I did, yeah. Yeah, it was all, it's all about yeah. this M1 chip. It's all about these benchmarks. Everybody's fired right up. Uh-huh. They're fired right up. And, uh, I mean, there's fighting words in the social media. People are saying uh, Apple's about to defeat everyone and all the rest of it. And then others defending, I don't know, AMD, Intel, whoever else, mm -hmm. don't feel the same way. So it's become a hot topic. Well, of course, we don't have all the numbers and we don't have the whole thing in front of us. We don't have the real world stuff in front of us yeah. because the systems aren't there yet. But we do have some benchmarks, of course, coming from your classic geek bench. And it looks pretty promising. Well, I got to say, it's it, kind of like a big deal. Oh, yeah? And it might be. Uh, so they got the uh, Mac right. Mini coming in single core, 1682. The Air, 1687, and the MacBook Pro, 1714. Now, first thing to notice is how close those all are from the Air to the Pro. I mean, you kind of wonder if you, why you even need the Pro at that moment mm -hmm. when you have the single core so tight amongst that group. And then you look at the current overall single core benchmarks, and guess what, Will? Those numbers, particularly the 1714, well, all of them, they beat the top performance over there. They're beating... A Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 core. I mean, it's, well, I guess the cores don't matter when a single core test that we're talking about, but still, we got some heavy hitters in there and Apple's putting up numbers and they're putting up numbers, like I said, not just on the Pro and the larger form, form factor model, but on the Air? Mm. Jeez Louise, are they, are they making moves or what? And so one of the, some of the sentiment that I saw on social media was around people on the previous generation who had just spent a bunch of money on like a MacBook Pro spec it out i9 yeah. type deal. And then all of a sudden this stuff is obsolete. Like for example, 2019 16 inch i9 MacBook Pro scores 1118. Right. 1118 on a single core. The new Pro 1714. Now, again, this is single core performance. It's all going to, we're going to have to figure out real world where that makes things snappier compared to the multi core, which those turn out to be a little bit closer performance wise mm -hmm. from the old stuff to the new stuff. But either way, in we were talking in the past to get anywhere close to these single core, multi core about Pro models exclusively. You would take a major dip in performance to go to the thinner models. Mm -hmm. So the real story is what they were able to do in the air, in my opinion. And giving you something super close to what the Pro was, has been capable of in a much smaller form factor because you control other elements, the hardware, the design. Now you're on the chip. You do the whole thing from the ground up. But it is important to note this is just a benchmark. Yes. This is just Geekbench. And we got to see what this means in the real world. Mm. 